All right, thought someone might be interested in this uh, SIG P230 in 380. All right, I'm just going to do some shooting today. These are very graceful little pistols. They came in 32 ACP, 380 ACP, and also you could get them in 9x18 police, which was a special round similar to the the uh, 380 short, 380 uh, ACP, but with a little bit more power. Um, those are rare, of course. And this one is the aluminum frame variant with the blue slide. It's very beautiful bluing, and it's a JD date code, which I can't remember <laughs> what that means. I think it's like 80. I can't remember. So you guys, you SIG guys, will be able to tell me. Um, 84, I think, or 85, maybe. Can't remember. Anyway, it has the European style heel mag release, which for this kind of pistol is perfectly fine because you don't ever bump the. If you were going to carry this, you wouldn't ever bump the magazine release here like the Walthers have. And it also has a, a decocker, which is similar to you know many of the SIGs has a frame mounted decocker lever instead of the slide mounted decocker safety levers like the Walther PPK which is very similar. I have no use for the frame, the slide mounted decockers, they get in the way for me but it's not a deal killer but I just don't prefer them. So let's shoot this beautiful little 380. Alright so we're using uh, Cellier and Bellot or Bello, I don't know how to pronounce it ball today. There's no slide uh, frame mounted slide stop. You just it locks open with the with the magazine empty and then if you want to decock it you just push this decock lever down. And then the first round will be double action. And then on the hammer stays back and it's single action. Slide bite gets me on my thumb. It's the only problem with these. There's no beaver tail, and if you have big fat hands or whatever, sometimes you're, you get some slide bite. I gotta be careful to remember to keep my thumb out of the way. Shot. You can see me. Recoil is a bit sharp with these blowback operated 380s, but you can get used to it. Beautiful little pistol. The, the lines are really graceful. They made these starting in 77 to 96, and then they started con uh, changing over to the the P232, which had a couple of upgrades, including a firing pin safety, and I can't remember something else, but I like this one. Alright, let's do a few more mags to end. 